Hi guys and welcome back to Toy Transformations! I'm so happy to see you again! In today's video we're going to transform two LOL dolls First, we have a ball to unbox, so come with me. It's unboxing time! Here's our LOL ball from the Glitter series. This is going to be so much fun! We're going to open the green plastic wrapper that's here. Then we'll remove the first layer, because here's where we're going to find our first sticker with a secret message. Here it is! And it says... It says diamonds are forever! Let's continue with the second layer. Open the wrapper and then remove it. Under this layer, we're going to find the second collectible sticker. And it says that our LOL doll can either pry, spit, tinkle or change color. Okay, now let's remove the third layer. And here's our first surprise blind bag. This is the one that has our baby bottle. So, let's open it up. It's pink with a glittery cap. Oh, it's so cute! And now, the fourth layer. Let's open this surprise bag too, okay? Here we must get the shoes. This pair of pink heels. They're so pretty and have very cute details in white. Finally, this is the last layer. Let's take it off. And remember that in the compartment over here is where we always find another surprise bag. And it's the outfit for our doll. It's so pretty and all covered in glitter. It has many different shades of pink. Did you notice? Now let's see what's inside our ball. Wow, there's so many things inside. Here we have the instructions. Oh, and here's another surprise bag. Let's open it to find out what's inside. And it is a beautiful pink headband with a ribbon. And here's our LOL catalog. See, this is the back part and on the other side we can see all the LOL from the series. Based on the outfit and the accessories that we got, my guess is that Fancy is our doll. But let's open this bag to see if we're right. Yes, we were! We got Fancy! Here she is, guys! She's so pretty and she's ready for her makeover. So let's go! So here we have the two LOL dolls that we're going to be using for today's transformations. For our first devil, we're going to use Fancy. We won't use any of her accessories. Instead, we'll use this outfit and these shoes. To make the second devil, we're going to use Fresh. And we'll let her keep some of the things from her outfit. So if you want to find out how to carry out this transformation, come with me and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with Fresh. Take a piece of moldable foam and put it over each one of her little buns. And then we'll make some spiky bits. So do this on all of her buns, okay? Then take a piece of clay and cover her legs with it. We'll start to make her outfit. So first, we're gonna make her pants. So make sure to completely cover the back of her legs as well. Then we'll take a modeling tool like this one that I have here to divide the clay so that it looks more like a pair of pants. So just mark a line here between the legs and that'll be fine. Now we're going to change modeling tools and we'll grab this one which has bristles to make it look like they're kind of ripped. So scratch a little bit over here. Now let's start with our second devil. So first we have to cut Fancy's bun with a pair of scissors and then we'll cover the hole that's left with a little bit of tape. And after that, we'll take a big piece of foam like this one and we'll put it over her head to make her a whole new hairstyle. And we'll let her keep her original bangs. Then we'll take the modeling tool with the bristles again to make the texture of her hair. So just add some straight lines with it all over the foam. The next thing we'll do is to apply a layer of white acrylic paint so that the following colors look brighter and stronger. Just be careful not to paint her face. Once the white paint is dry, we'll paint all of the hair yellow. Choose a very bright shade of yellow, like this one we have here, which is butter yellow. After that, what we're going to do is use glittery nail polish to add a shiny finish to the doll's hair. She looks so beautiful with her sparkly hair. 
We're going to apply a white layer like we did with the other gel so that really the next colours that we add will stand out. Once it dries, we'll add a layer of silver paint all over her spiky hair. Such a cool look! You might need to put more than one layer in order for the colour to really take. Once the silver paint is dry, we'll add a shiny finish, this time using glitter glue to cover the spikes. Make sure you spread it evenly. And look how shiny it is! Then we're going to use black acrylic paint and a thin brush to paint her pants. She looks so badass in this outfit, so make sure not to leave a single white spot. And we'll use the glitter glue again to add a few details. Then we'll cut the outfit in two because we're only going to keep the jacket and the shirt. So cut with the scissors right where the blue part starts. Now we're going to paint this part of the t-shirt with silver as well. You might need to apply more than one layer in order for the colour to really pop. Once the silver paint is dry, we'll cover all the rest of the outfit with white glue. Can you guess what this is for? Wait a second and you'll see. It's to cover it all in glitter! It's our moment, glitter enthusiasts! Make sure that there's glitter on all of the surface where we put the white glue. And here's our beautiful jacket, guys! Now we're going to use these shorts that are from another LOL doll. And these ones are already really shiny, but a little bit more won't hurt. So cover it all in white glue as well, okay? And we're going to cover them all in red glitter. Oh, I love glitter, guys. It always makes me so happy to put glitter on the outfits of our dolls. And here they are, so shiny. And we're going to do the same thing with the t-shirt too. So, cover all the surface with white glue and now make sure to do this as quickly as you can so it doesn't dry before we continue with the next step. And now it's time to cover it in glitter. Wow, the red glitter looks so cool. Which is our favourite colour of glitter? Hmm, tell me your favourite in the comment box below. It looks so much better now, right? It's so much brighter than before. Now we're going to take this piece of foam sheet to make the wings. They have to be black because these are evil wings, not like the ones angels have. So we'll take this one that we printed and now we're going to draw the silhouette. So now that we've drawn the wings, we're going to cut them out with a pair of scissors. Very good guys! Keep up the good work! These devils are going to look awesome! And we also have some black feathers to make the wings look even more real. So we'll put them here with some clear glue. And now press a little with our hands and hold for a few seconds while the glue works. Once you have the first feather, we'll put some more over it to make them look a little fluffy. Good job guys! Look, the feathers on both sides. This pair of wings are going to be for our silver devil. She looks so cool with them, don't you think? And now let's continue with the other one. We'll use this piece of foam sheet to draw her pair of wings. So let's take this picture that we previously printed and then use it to make an outline of the silhouette with a pen. Don't forget to make two of them. And now let's cut them out with scissors. Try to follow the lines as much as possible and don't forget to be really careful with your fingers. And here they are! But wait, because we're still missing the details. Okay, so now that we have them cut out, we'll put these feathers over them. So put a little bit of glue over this part and that would just be enough for them to stick to the foam. We'll have a red devil and a silver one and this will make such an amazing duo. Once it's like this, we'll shorten the feathers with a pair of scissors because it's a bit long for the wings. So just a little cut over here and that should be fine. Now we're going to use this other kind of feather, they're a little bit more pointy to make the wings look better. We'll put them here on the front and also on the back. Look! Our wings are ready guys! And they look awesome! The feathers on the front and on the back. Our devil is going to look wonderful! Now let's put white glue on this little white strip over here with a thin brush. Because now we'll cover it in silver glitter! This detail will look fantastic on them. And here we have the boots that we're going to use for the silver devil. We've chosen some extra large ones because we think they're going to look better with the outfit. 
So paint them all with silver acrylic paint. And once they're all silver, we'll cover them in white glue. Okay, so before the glue dries, grab them with a pair of eyebrow tweezers or with a pencil to cover them all in glitter. Here they are and they look wonderful. Now let's get started on the final details. So on this piece of cardboard, we're going to draw a pitchfork for one of our little devils. So we'll do the same for the other one, but with a silver foam sheet. But make sure to draw it on the back so that the glitter won't fall off while you draw. So here comes another pitchfork. And then I'm going to cut it out with this little pair of scissors. I'm using these ones instead of the normal ones because with these it's easier to cut out smaller things. And now I'll use a piece of black foam sheet again, this time to make a tail. And we'll use the silver foam for the tail for the other devil. The tails are basically just a line with an arrow at the end, so they're really easy to make. And here we have them. So now let's continue with the horns. So take a piece of foam and mold it with your fingers into a triangle shape. And then we just need to make it a little bit bigger. So this is how they're going to end up. And now, all we need to do is paint them black. And now we'll put the horns right here. Okay, so for the silver one, we're going to use a cotton swab and nail polish remover to remove the makeup from her face. So make sure to erase her eyebrows, because we'll draw new ones, as well as her eyelashes and her lipstick. Once her face is completely clean, we'll draw her a new pair of eyebrows that will look so much thicker than the other ones. And finally, we'll stick her wings to her back using clear glue. And that'll be it. Are you excited to see the final results? Look, guys. Oh, wow, she's so cool. And she looks so badass and evil. There's no doubt she's a very bad devil. Her wings are so awesome, don't you think? Finally, we're going to put the wings on our other devil as well. And then we'll be done. I'm so looking forward to seeing the final results here too. Guys, she's so cute. She actually doesn't look evil at all, don't you think? She's still a devil though, so I wouldn't trust her too much. And her outfit is so cute as well. I love that it's so shiny. So here we have the two little devils together, guys. On this side, we have the red one. It looks extra cute with all her glittery outfit and her sparkly hair. And she has all the details. Look at her pitchfork and her tail, which made her look so awesome. And on the other side, we have the black one, which looks so much more evil. She has such an amazing pair of wigs. They're so big and her hairstyle is really cool. So if you like this transformation as much as me, Give us a like and leave us your comments below so I can read them. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome videos. Don't forget that sharing is caring, so show this to your friends too. We love you so much. Bye-bye.